Uh, let me just bubble out of the way. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about Star Wars Episode 9. Rise of the Skywalker. Before we get into the trailer, we feel, I want to talk about the title. For the moment, I'm not a big fan of it. Not saying I'm hating on it, per se, but... Because... I have a feeling it's going to be one of those movies that to, uh, sink in more. To actually know whether I dislike it or I like it. Right now, I'm in about it. I mean, hopefully, it means Rey is a Skywalker. But I'll make another video. Uh. Uh, of that. Like, expl uh, my theories based off the title of what... Episode 9 is going to be, or the title, what the title means, I should say. But anyways, Star Wars Episode 9, uh, the Rise of Skywalker trailer. I mean, I liked it. I mean, I liked how they started Rey on some desert uh, world, whether it's Jakku or Tatooine. That was a pretty good shot. And it was pretty cool to see Rey... Doing backflip with Anakin's lightsaber, cutting down the like the Tie Fighter thing with Jake or whatever version of the Tie it was, Tie Interceptor I think it was. Uh, I'm excited. I'm not really going to go into that much detail of the trailer because I want you guys to be as surprised as I was, assuming that you haven't seen it by now. But. Leia, they had the scene, like two second part where I had showed Leia showing me hugging, uh, Ray. Now that was awesome. That was beautiful. Uh, I mean, they're not going to use carry. I mean, they're not. They're going to reuse reuse scenes like old footage of Carrie Fisher for episode nine. So that's going to be interesting to look. Which, even though we only, we only got like one shot, I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy that one shot we got of Carrie Fisher in the trailer. I feel like, unfortunately, since she's dead, Carrie Fisher's dead, one shot of Leia was all that we needed, to be honest. So then we can go in the movie. Even more surprised, like, ooh, this is cool, that's cool, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Mando's in the movie. It was confirmed already, but it was so exciting to see him in the trailer with Chewbacca and the Millennium Falcon, because they didn't have him in The Force Awakens, which I was okay with, because we had two more movies. I was kind of mad that they didn't have Lando in The Last Jedi, because... As the code breaker, as the actual, like, the guy in the casino throwing the dice. They should have had him make a cameo at the very least. And then, come into episode 9 with a larger role than, like, a 5 second cameo. But regardless, I am excited to see, uh, Lando. All he did was laugh, piloting the, uh, Millennium Falcon, which was awesome and epic to see, even if it was in a trailer. I wonder how they're gonna introduce Lando in here. I wonder if he actually knows about how that Han and uh, Luke are dead. <laughs> Speaking of Luke, I liked how they had him, his uh, voiceover in the entire uh, trailer. That's the only verbal thing that we heard was Luke's voice. And that was awesome. That was that was pretty good on JJ's part. Uh, I felt like it didn't give us too much information about the entire movie. I felt like this was an actual tease. Because this actually makes me want to go see the movie. Now, yeah, granted that I'm still kind of upset in some of the directions the last shot I took. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to see the, uh, episode 9. I'm going to save my money now so I can see it X amount of times if it impresses me the first time. <laughs> uh, what else, uh... I didn't see Rose Tico anywhere. That's sad. I didn't see Rose anywhere in the trailer. But I saw Ray, Poe, and Finn all together. 
in one shot, which was cool because we didn't really get to see them in The Force Awakens. Big miss opportunity to see them. Actually, no, we can't, we can't really say we saw them at the Interest of Anapo last Saturday, but not the same way as they showed it in the trailer for Episode 9. Which, I prefer the way that they showed Ray, Poe, and Finn on the screen together, like they did in the trailer for Star Wars Episode 9. Uh, the music. It was Princess Leia's theme song. I love how epic it was. It was cool. Liked it. Uh, didn't really see too much of the Knights of Ren. We saw Kylo Ren using his lightsaber and pounding the people to the ground, which was cool. Uh, and then towards the end, Luke says, No one's truly gone. And then, close to blank, Darth Sidious's laughter. Now, I have to agree with Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, if they do bring back Darth Sidious, then they, in a sense, are reconning Darth Vader's redemption in Return of the Jedi. I mean, yeah, he's still despite his son, bringing the Anakin Skywalker out of him and fulfilling the prophecy, but if they decide to bring back Darth Sidious in the flesh, then that will make that scene in Return of the Jedi less powerful. Less powerful. The one thing I hope is that Anakin Skywalker will be in the movie. We, we already got Luke Skywalker. Hopefully we'll get Anakin Skywalker. Because he was the chosen one in the original six movies. Maybe raise the reincarnation in of the chosen one, and that's why she's just OP as hell. But regardless, I'm still hoping that Anakin makes a cameo s somewhere in the movie. Be cool. And his lightsaber doesn't count it because it's just a lightsaber that Ray fixed. Oh, and speaking of fix, they fixed Kyle Ren's mask, which again I. Agree with Jeremy from Geeks of Gamers, it was J.J. Abrams shot, saying, Uh huh, you Kyle, just sort of the mask you try to wreck on and ignore everything that happened before. The uh, uh, last night I, uh huh, bitch, here you go, I'm gonna repair Kyle Ren's mask, and I swear to you, you'll get your fur. Sorry, my cat. Hi. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, pretty much, I enjoyed the trailer. It got me excited for the movie. I don't know how I feel about the Emperor, or Darth Sidious, being in Episode 9 yet. Especially since we don't know how he's going to be used yet. So, I'm going to try to reserve judgment about Darth Sidious being back until when I actually see the movie. But long story short, long story short, what name was it? I enjoyed the trailer. Got me excited. Did his job. I'm looking for the next trailer. Ho I'm hoping that they don't have uh, Princess Leia in that many parts of the trailers. Cause, probably because since they're going to use already like pre-shot footage of Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. I'm hoping that they will keep her scenes in the actual trailers to the minimum. So we can be extremely surprised on how JJ used it in the movie. But, uh... Yeah, it will... I will like the trailer more than I like the game, to be honest. I mean, again, I'll make a video about me theory theorizing about what the trailer, the title could mean, but right now, I'm kind of iffy about the title at the moment. But I'm so goddamn excited for the actual trailer.
Oh no, my cat is playing with my side. I'm scared he might be on it. Not right now anymore, okay? So, yeah, I'm, uh... The actual title, I'll give a 5 out of 10 for now. The trailer, though. The trailer, I'll give a 9.9 9 out of 10. Because it excited me. Now, well, the reason why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10, because I don't know how I feel about the Emperor coming back. No, actually, no, that's not the reason why. It's because I don't... Maybe that's the reason why, I don't know. But anyways, what do you guys think about the trailer? Did you like, guys like it? Dislike it? What are your thoughts of the trailer? And, uh... I'm until then, come here, Nemo. See ya, everyone. May the force be with you. Bring you, Nemo. May the force be with you. Mm.